Hey guys, Nolan and Jason with Roofing Webmasters. Howdy. Today's topic, Roofing SEO FOMO, why it's important to be skeptical of the latest trends. So fear of missing out of AI, artificial yeah, the, the latest thing. I mean, yeah. there's FOMO in SEO every year, but this year is pro there's like a frenzy around it. There's a lot of people, I've already had people talking about going, oh, I've got a guy starting on uh, AI content, you're doing AI content on my website. So AI content is a penalty uh, for Google. You will They can spot it. We know this for a fact. They, they don't like it. They will spot it. Yeah. And as soon as they spider it. Yeah. And then you will get penalized. So they hate it enough. It's been a while since Google was actively penalizing something new. Yeah, it usually takes them longer. Yeah. But they hit this quick. So they stop penalizing. You can go waste all your money with, you know, links out of the country and cred like that. And unless you're doing like really bad links over and over again, they probably won't penalize you. They just ignore them. They just yeah. ignore them. You could have um, you, you copied content's been a penalty forever, you know, stuff like that. So, or keyword stuffing and some of that stuff. Well, people, even copying content, they don't penalize you so much as they just pretend that content's not there. So you don't so show for whatever you, whatever. Yeah, you know, they, they they ignore it. They just the they difference just, in the, say, oh that's trash, and they pretend it's not there. Yeah. The AI is like literally physically getting penalties. In yeah. fact, the guy that I just signed up, two hundred and thirty three pages. Oh, wow. By the way, roofer out of uh, Charlotte, Charlotte. I don't remember the town. Charlottesville, maybe. Um, two hundred thirty three pages. What that means is, I don't. You don't even have to know. There's a lot of stuff people call, a couple of clicks of a mouse, and instantly you know what's going on. Usually, yeah. At 76 Google reviews, not bad. Not bad. Good start. 233 pages. That's over aggressive spam. Even before Google helpful content update, before 2023, and before AI. Yeah. It was, and I told him, I said, man, we quit doing blogging three years ago. That there's just not too many roofers <clears throat> who offer 230 different services and or materials. Well, no, it was 150 yeah. crap blogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always give the... I'm just saying, if you, if, if you had some kind of business where you had that many things to legitimately talk about, but... If you're just a, if you're a roofer, you really don't have that many things right. to talk about. So it's, you it's, could it's have automatic red flag. Normally, people don't have enough content, but let's say it's a roofer that's a residential and a commercial, and you have pages like TPO to shingle to staining seam and stone coated steel and even tile and stuff. That, that guy might have like twenty service pages, and he might have like twenty city pages, and he might have like five other pages. Yeah. So the site's going to be less than a fifty page site. Now he can embellish content data pens and things like that but he's not going to have over a 50 page website right and anything after that within reason is trash crap content yeah. that was built for the search engine and besides that that's not even this topic though this is ai so everybody's all jazzed up about going to chat gpt or jasper or one of these things and google's number one mission right now is to take them out and they're penalizing yeah. Or horribly, like yeah. I'm talking, like people, they so that content update of Google helpful content update launched in September 2022 ish, started turning up the heat throughout the end of the year and the first of this year. I don't know that it's been turned up again in a month or so since January. No, but I, I would, I wouldn't. It's gonna have done. Yeah, they've got more they're gonna do. So people that are calling me, like ha a lot of the clients have like over 100 pages, a bunch of crap blogs. Yeah, experience and, and they used to do well, and then all of a sudden, fairly recently, fell off cliff. Yeah, I, I was talking to this guy, nice guy, and I said, Hey, um, not just because of off season, but did you have a worse than normal off season or starting around October? He said, Yeah, and I said, It's all this crap content here, yeah, said, we've got to remove it. And uh, and what's going to happen is opposite what we're doing. So this is where don't get caught up in the fear of missing out because what's going to happen is that agencies and new people are going to come up and say, we can do blog a day. We can, yeah, we can do a blog a day for yeah. you. You need the content. You, we're going to do a you know, thousand word blog every day. And some 
some jackass is going to type in something, a question into chat GPT, and then vomit out crud on your website that Google then penalizes you for. Right. <laughs> it's it's going to be crazy. So we're going to deal with this for a little bit. Yeah. We're going to be getting these sites that need to be pared down for the next two years, maybe. And then they'll almost all disappear or those people will go out of business. Yeah. And don't be right. fooled by the fact that Google and Bing are both integrating an AI chatbot into search. That does not mean they like AI content on websites. Right. Because they have to pay for that crap and it's technically junking up. Yeah. Nolan Walker here for Roofers Paradise. Thank you for checking out our podcast here for Roofing Webmasters where we talk about nothing but marketing. But I'd love for you to check out Roofers Paradise where I personally interview and talk with roofers. We talk about their successes, their failures, their dreams, their goals and ambitions. It's a great podcast where we actually speak to roofers. Love to have you check out Roofers Paradise. You can find us on YouTube by searching Roofers Paradise. Any platform for podcasts, search Roofers Paradise. Be sure to subscribe, or you can actually go to roofersparadise.show. Look forward to having you over at Roofers Paradise. What is that law called? Is it like Moore's Law or something? What's the, the double and Yeah, Moore's Law. The te technology will grow in sophistication or power every two, double every two years or whatever it is. Is it two years? Uh, is it two years? I thought or it was like seven or something. It's not that long. Maybe I'm thinking doubling of financial money at a certain percent. Anyway, Moore's That's the rule of 72. 72. Yeah. Moore's Law, though. Um, Are you they, surprised I knew that? I am a little bit. <laughs> but you know, you and I both know a lot of crap. <laughs> I'm not entirely surprised. No. You love being, anyway, more you love being right and knowing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. I drink coffee and I know things. So, yeah. Um, but, no. So, j Matt said that it's actually going, it, it's taking off faster than that. Yeah. It's exponentially going. Now, it hasn't been felt by anybody yet, but early indicators are this stuff is it's popping like wildfire. Yeah. So... You're going to see a lot of stuff pop up. It doesn't mean you should be doing it. And they don't like it because we were talking about it just hypothetically, like what would happen? So what would happen if you can write a topic, throw the content over on a conversation to some talking head program, get that on a video, spoken word out, shot up to a video, which they're all which you're talking about, right? Yeah, people are doing it. What would end up happening is that YouTube looks like horseshit within like 18 months. Yeah. 90% of the content is trash. And if you want to know why you don't need it on your website, this is what's going to happen to your website and the web. Yeah. So if you all of a sudden have, and we went off a little deep here, but this is what's happening. In case y'all don't know, this crud is, this isn't future. The, the, this is in process. This right is like 1984. We're, we're on yeah, it. it's yeah. like happening today. And if you don't have quality people doing your web work and you start buying into the trends, you're literally going to have this completely lopsided trash website that gets thrown on its ear and literally penalized, which means down in ranking from Google. Because if they don't fight it, they're going to end up with just mass quantities of shit. And, it's gonna and they have to sift through all of it to figure out it's shit, and they don't want to do that. Right. They will be coming up with every technique possible to make sure that that doesn't happen. I don't think there's any world where, because we just got off of a topic about content, I don't think there's any world where all of a sudden a, a company that or a, an industry type, like a, a roofer that should have a 50-page site, Google's going to say, Oh, 400 pages is fine. Now. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. So even if they figure out how to get the crud through that a human didn't participate in, they're not going to let you have it. And they're going to figure out ways to find out that you're dealing in it. Yeah. So I, I think personally that the AI writers, bots and stuff is going to be able to legally spit out crud, even though they're not going to have to tag their point of origin of the content. That's a whole different subject matter, right? Yeah. My, my, my Twitter feed is inundated with that. with ads for AI-generated content for your website. Yeah, I, so, I see dozens every day. Yeah, so I believe that they're going to encode the AI-generated content out for multiple reasons. This you know, college term papers, stuff like that. Yeah. And so there'll be other ways that they're trying to tag it 
but you're not going to be able to leave the basics of what they think you should have in the first place. Right. And if you have somebody that starts slapping up stuff to make you feel good about what they're supposed to be paid to be doing, which is what normally happens. Yeah. When you see content go run amok, there's two things that happened. The business owner asked for it. I still get asked this to this day. Oh, yeah. We, I still get a, a current client occasionally. Hey, can we start doing a blog every week? And I have to say, well, no. Yeah. I'll <laughs> Sorry, say, but we don't want to sabotage I'll the injure it by saying, okay, why do you want to do that? And they'll say, and then they'll pause and they won't give me the answer. And I said, I'm assuming you want that to show up in ranking better. And they said, yeah. I said, that will actually penalize your website. Yeah. And they go, oh, and then a little bit of what I said, yeah, they don't want crappy content. Roofers don't write good blogs, even if they're pretty good blogs. Nobody wants to read them. And so they go, but we can do this. If you want digital branded signaling in order to have your brand show up better and follow Google's rules, we could do this and it would actually work because you yeah. want to be as so what by the time a client has had the idea to call and ask for something like this, it's probably spam. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, that, I never really thought about it, but by the time you call your digital marketing agency and say, I'm looking for blogging, I need more content, give me links out of Mumbai. It's like, okay, let's slow down. You know, where did you hear that? Was yeah, that, yeah, where where are you getting this in from? Well, yeah. I saw, yeah. I saw a write up online. And, and Neil Patel had an article from 2009. And like, well, yeah, and I mean, we literally have people say that. It's like, yeah. cite your source. It's like, okay, that source is 11 years old. Like, we had that happen not too long. Yeah, it's like, yeah. it's 11 years old. This is meaningless. Yeah, Everything has changed since then. And then they'll try to say, well, what is it? No, this is this is a moot point. Yeah. It's moot. It's not worth discussion. And then we'll say, but yeah, so you got to be careful what you're going for. Stuff's going to sound good. There's tons of buzz. Shockingly, I have not yet seen Neil Patel hawking AI content. Interesting. I, I'm, I'm yeah. like shocked right off my butt that he hasn't yet because I figured he'd be all over that. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I, I, I would rag on him, but I have some level of business respect. You know, he's, he's very prolific and he is. making money. He's, he's yeah. created a very successful business, yeah. but he. He does it often by jumping on the latest trend and providing them, giving people what they want, yeah. give it, you know, providing that latest trend. Yeah, and, and in case y'all don't know, there's companies that provide AI-generated content. In fact, they have for about a year and a half Yeah, before ChatGPT. And and by the way, if you saw an article, you would some of this stuff, you would read it, and it would read perfectly well. It, you would think. That's a good point that a person wrote it. It's not weird gobbledygook. It doesn't sound like a robot. You know, it's it's like it reads like human generated content. Really? But Google has built an, a, its own program that can kind of suss out and don't ask me how they do it, but we've tested it and it's their it's their okay. detector is highly accurate. Nolan Walker here for Data Pens. You may not know, but I own a software company and we have a proprietary software called Data Pens, D-A-T-A-P-I-N-S. You can search it at datapens.com. This is not white labeled. I actually own this piece of software and I made it for you. It was made for contractors. You can actually take pictures of jobs up to six, make a caption about the material, the, the brand, the situation, the, the repairs, and post that back to your individual pages on your website, just like that. It's super simple, anyone could use it. It also texts and emails your clients, direct links to your reviews, so it helps reputation and reviews, which helps conversion and map placement. The geo coordinate gets grabbed by data pens and Google can tell where you are. So instead of them just seeing reviews, they see all jobs or even estimates that you do. This vastly outperforms just getting reviews, helps the map show up, helps organic keywords. And remember those captions that you're putting in there help expand the keywords per page and it's great regular content. I love it. We made it just for you. It is organic optimization on steroids for both your website, your rankings, and the map placement. Check out Data Pens. I think you'll be happy you did. So, you know, we talked about fear of missing out stuff and it's not just a uh... It's not just AI, but that's going to dominate 2023. Yeah, right now, that's the only thing. It will dominate, about. but there is crappy 
software programs out there. There's add-ons and plugins that are just complete shit. People still talk about citations like, I, well, are you putting me on 287? And or, or, well, and I was like, yeah, um, no. Why do you want to go on all this? So, so, so you don't need to be on a directory that has one visitor every three months. Right. It's, so, so there's no point. People get sold that. Social and, fortress. Yeah, <laughs> the directory stuff on citations isn't bad, but agencies will sell it because they can produce an automated report and show and then, and then give you a big number. Give You're you, on three hundred directories. Yeah, give you a number and then validate and hope to keep you in on this little auto process. There's other ones that do poor jobs of check-ins, and they slap a pretty crappy software over your already bad website. And it doesn't integrate. You need a whole thing working well. The website tended to, your enough reviews, enough data pens, all that stuff has to work right. So that's not going to change. Um, yeah. In fact, there's a lot of people talking about this. AI is going to assist users and mainly questions, maybe writing content papers, even finding the code for an API integration that would have been very difficult because it's, out there in the ether and the AI has it. Oh, I've, I've tested um, chat GPT and gone in and said, give me a style sheet for a website right. that makes it look like this. And what it gave me was 90% of what I would have needed right. if I was doing that. It's, it's very smart. Right. Um, it, 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 it can be useful. It's going to raise um, certain job types of employee productivity. Yeah. From a business owner's perspective, you might get irritated that they're not working as much but temporarily their productivity will be higher Yeah, and it will help the economy when that occurs. And I don't, I used to think, um, I just get off on a little bit about the AI. I don't think it's going to take out stuff immediately. In fact, I think that it's going to assist a lot of subcategories in the AI integration. They're not going to do it at all. There's one type of thing online that should be worried. If you run a website, artist that, and well, that that's a separate issue to what I'm talking about. Is if you run a website and you're writing like news or articles of interest in order to drive traffic to get advertising revenue, right. if people can go on to Google or Bing and type a question and about the same thing, and the chatbot gives them the answer, you never get that trouble. Well, that's the bullshit. And I yeah. think they're going to win that lawsuit. So and what Jason's talking about is a load of horseshit for humanity that did the work to this point. Yeah. So basically, the AI knows all human content. Yeah, it's trained on everything we've put out. So there. it read, let's say, the dictionary and, and uh, somebody's book and somebody's book on something weird like, you know, uh, climate change on, you know, icebergs in Antarctica and some guy spent 10 years writing this book yeah. and did all this scientific research and is up there. Well, the, the AI reads it. Someone asks a question about that category topic or anything really, but this is a good example. Yeah. And then it rewrites it. And he gives them a brief summary. Spits it out and does not give credit for the source. Does not cite the source. Does not cite the source. And does not say, if you'd like to know more, go here and read the book. Right now, yeah. when somebody or asks a question like that, <laughs> that book or that that source is cited, whether it's a rich snippet or just showing up in search rankings, here's the guy. Well, I mean, right now, if you ask that question, you get a rich snippet you'd get an article about the guy who wrote the book and you'd probably get an Amazon link to buy his to book. To buy his book. And and it's going to change that. It's you know why pay. I don't think it's going to be won by the humans on it over the AI? Because when a human walks around and talks, they're regurgitating everything they knew. Yeah. And they don't, we don't cite the book we learned it from or the person that told and us. And that, that is going to be the argument. That's that the, the argument. Gonna, the yeah. AI is then the sentient being. And it too, when it go around citing uh, sources of everything, just like another intelligent thing wouldn't do that. Right. Because we'd be citing stuff literally hundreds of times per day as we opened up our mouth. Dozens at least. And I ain't doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nolan Walker here for Roofing Webmasters. I want you to consider becoming one of our clients. We've done this for 12 years, have hundreds of clients, 
We help everybody with their design, their code, their content, showing up on Google as high as possible. Clients get regular call volume. If you've never experienced what I call the big show, showing up on Google organically, which is where the vast majority of the clicks occur on your map, your reputation, your reviews, your organic keyword ranking, you owe it to yourself to try us. We even have proprietary software that we own called data pens that lets you post pictures of jobs, unique captions that increase keywords and long tail keywords, uh, your rankings on Google, text and emailing clients about reviews, even posting pins and photos and captions back to Google. All this helps your organic rankings. Data pens is fantastic and the work we do here at Roofing Webmasters is fantastic. Please give us a call, we'd love to hear from you. Our air pressure is low. So, well, honey, it's because it's cold outside and the air compressed, and I know you need to keep it at least a 30 to 40 PSI. It is learned from me by my father, who learned it from those persons who learned. And then... It's which, like the handbook of your yeah. car that tells you the PSI every yeah, time. which is here in the <laughs> Firestone manual and learn and who made the first tire and <laughs> the server PSI, or was PSI as an acronym? I mean, we wouldn't be able to get through the day, you know? Like, but you so, see everybody having note cards <laughs> with a bibliography. That was actually my least favorite task in all of my school years is making my bibliography cards for term papers. I, all you kids have no idea what I'm talking about because they don't make you do that anymore. Oh, they cheat and they're going to be on chat GPT. Yeah, they're just going to go in and, and say, frankly, most of the, write me an article about Moby Dick describing its relevance to modern times and the internet. With a Texas uh, you know, five thousand words, yeah. <laughs> With a little Texas grammatical error, yeah. <laughs> you know, y'all call me Ishmael. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, <laughs> it, it would, right? It yeah, would do it. it would do it. Anyway, I don't know, man. That's the shit going on. In case y'all haven't gone down the rabbit hole in this stuff, it's gonna happen. To it, it's happening right this now. This shit's happening now. Don't be um, taken in by. Uh, you're gonna hear a lot of crap about this, and yeah, don't, don't jump on it. And by the way, we could easily be selling this. Well, we will integrate as needed. Yeah, now, but I mean, we could right now replace. If we, if we didn't care about the results, right. we could replace our entire writing staff with one person doing it all with AI and save a bunch of money. And y'all would all drop in rankings. And y'all and y'all would all drop in rankings. Yeah. The only reason we're saying don't do this is because we don't want you to drop in rankings. We want you to rise. Even if AI is, you know, comes through, we're not going to touch it for at least a year. I'm not going to do that. We wouldn't touch it until it is... I don't think I'd touch it until Google or search engines just said, it's good. Yeah, until Google finally threw up their hands and said, okay, fine. It's whatever. fine. But yeah. it doesn't mean you can just go violate all the other rules by having hundreds of pages, which is what people are going to start doing again. Yeah. The irony we, of it. Sometime, about six months from now, you're going to get <laughs> a roofer that's going to have like a 1,200 page It's going to happen. Yeah. The irony is they're already getting penalized, but I'm also seeing people at the same time ramp up AI. Yeah, content. literally. Yeah, they're already being penalized, and they're di and they're they're doubling down and doing more. You know who told me? Thing. I was talking to a guy. I don't know if he became a client or not. I was talking to a roofer the other day, and he he's like, "Oh, and we're already getting some AI." I'm like, "Oh, we're proud about it." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh shit!" You know, you're you're not supposed to be. And he's like, "Really?" I said, "Oh yeah, you need to take it off." Like, yeah, go look it up. I don't I don't know what the AI checkers are. Do y'all do you do you have one like what do y'all I don't have one memorized that have to you just Google up. AI content checker or yeah. like well, there's a couple of different ones we use yeah. to check. In case anybody wanted to go look. Yeah. You know, as well. But um all right guys, listen, this is one of many things that we worry about here and talk about so that you guys don't have to mess with it. We're a professional service that happens to be a great deal. We work for clients, we are one of the only skilled digital marketing agencies in the country, bar none. We are one of the very few that understands what roofing is and what the materials are. And we're the only one that has um, a digital marketing agency and also owns a software company that has a product specifically made for you that handles multiple types of experience, expertise, authority, and trust, EEAT signaling or your digital branded signaling in a myriad of ways so that you can show up online. 
So that, so that you can throw more signals every single day on that the are job legit, not trash, not links out of the country, not blogging, not AI content, everything done within the wishes of the search engines, still Google for now, although we've begun to say search engine because AI, because Bill Gates bought it for $10 billion, in case you don't know. and. Well, Microsoft. Bill Gates is not actually actively involved in the daily operations yeah, of Microsoft I know. anymore. It's like Tesla. <laughs> Come on. You think Elon? If you hear Elon, Elon's too busy doing stupid things. People tweets. still associate the two. That's true. Bill's stroking that white cat and <laughs> buying up farmland. You know? <laughs> right. Let them eat bugs. He got directly involved in buying Chat GPT, bro. He did. He talked did. about it. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. I, I yeah. He, was, I he, he that. had that smirky little shit-eating grin that he's got, <laughs> and like, is that it's going to change the world? You know, and, <laughs> you know, lay one heavy foot down on us when it's like all phones will ring at one time. Lawnmower man. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he's waiting, man. He 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 was excited about it though. I didn't see that. Yeah, he said there was something. Well, there's at least an article. I don't know if it was the New York Times or something that said you know. He had quoted him saying it's going to change. It's going to change everything. So, anyhow, uh, call us when you're ready. We'd love to help you out. All this and more. And like and subscribe. Right. And right. I'll see you the next <laughs> Take time. Take it around. easy. Bye.